Hey, what's up guys? It's DIY Mechanic here, working on this X5 3 litre petrol N52 engine. So you guys might be watching this video because you've either done a head gasket, change a timing chain, or gone in and done some valve work or anything that it is that you have to reset some timing. So here you go guys, I'm going to show you how you time this up. I've already timed this up, this has already had a head gasket change. Um, we pulled the head off, put everything back on and um, yeah we're taking it from here. So in order to put this on timing, you've got to pull off the inlet manifold um, and get up behind the, the start motor after you've taken the starter motor out um, then you come down here just underneath the starter motor going a bit further you see where this pin is so this pin goes directly into the flywheel of the vehicle so i'm just going to pull this out just so you can see how it looks this pin um, goes directly into a, into the flywheel Put that back in now. There you go. It's all the way down at the end. Make sure it goes all the way flat to the end of the of the block, so you know it's inside the gearbox. Now I've marked these um, just so that I know when I turn the engine to see what's going on. So I've marked that there on the bolt. You can see how the bolt for the flywheel sits there, um, and then you know you've got the right hole. Also, you can turn the engine left and right. Just make sure it's it's all good. And what you do is, in order to find that hole really, really well, um, well, really quickly, what you do is, is you take out all the spark plugs. Excuse me. You take out all the spark plugs and you come to cylinder one. You put the a long screwdriver in cylinder one, and you're testing for top dead center. So it would go up to the top. It will stop, and then it will come back down. That just before it comes back down you know that cylinder one is on a is just about to go into uh it's the at the end of its compression stroke and um it's about to fire so um that's what you're looking for for cylinder one to be up at the top so you take like a long screwdriver and you put it in i can show you what i mean something like this You put it in cylinder one and you turn your engine. Once you turn your engine, the cylinder one would hit top dead center. And you'll see that that will go up, 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 and then it will stop for a second. And as you turn around, it will just start to go down. As soon as, just before it starts to go down, that's where the top dead center is. And that's where you will have that timing marking on cylinder one. Um, then, you will have all these um, timing tools, which I'm going to show you now how they fit. Um, so the first one here is just, is, all it is is for the, don't get excited by anything too mad. All it is is just um, for the, for the, for the camshaft um, sensors. So you have these sitting on the, on the, um, camshaft sprocket um, it's like another little pulley here then if you can see that but I'll take this tool off and I'll show you what I mean and we'll set it all up properly so you can watch and you can put this all together a lot to take off but definitely not a hard job BMW are quite good for that. They don't make us work too hard on most cars. Anyway, so yeah, I've marked these inlet and exhaust as I've taken everything off. But what you do is, is when you turn the camshaft, can you see these little holes here? This and this, and then you'll have the N52 timing tool, um, which I can put a link into in my description if you wanted to see one. You see that it has those two black pins, this one, and again, this one on the other side. 
they fit into the sprocket over here like so and that's what's going to hold your cam shaft in position see that one over here there you go that's in one hand and <coughs> put the 10 mils in and what you do is, is you lock that up and then you'll also see at the top of your camshaft once you've got the rock cover off you will have a like a QR code on the top of the crankshaft I don't know if you can see that so well but you can see there's a little QR code on the inlet camshaft and on the exhaust camshaft see that QR code you'll have two now they should both be facing up even if you remove and install the camshaft they should all be facing up and you'll have the other part of the timing tool which is this one over here and it will come in a set by the way it comes in a set with um, a whole bunch of stuff um, for all types of BMW engines for N55s, N53s and you'll have the two long uh, screws there for the timing tool it will come in a set hey guys i'm back i don't know why this phone keeps cutting out so you would put back this timing tool and it should just fit in there you see where it goes over here just on top of the camshaft as your qr code is facing up and you would push it back in if it goes in Yo, so what you do is, is I can not show you how to put this in because it's just too much to hold the camera and put it all in at the same time. But you just put the, um, you open up these top bolts slightly, make them loose, put them down, make sure that these long bolts fit inside the, the block, you see? And that sits flat. You can give it a little knock at the top just to make it sure that it's all in. See, like that, that's flat here. Yeah. Everything here is tight. Lock them all up. Make sure that everything's flat. Yeah, tighten up these bolts here with an 11. Well, on my kit, it's an 11. Don't ask me why. Like so. Then you would release you would release these two bolts here for the tent for the timing chain and there's one here up here there's one down here on the left this one you don't need to touch and remove all the sensors of obviously and remove the timing chain tensioner and Bob's your uncle in it you're on YouTube mate yeah, that's it mm -hmm. and then obviously take